Howdy folks, welcome to episode 3. Today we're going to, uh, yeah, we're going to take off and go do some exploring. And I, at the end of last episode, I went to do that and I completely forgot to, uh, yeah, I want to make like a detector and stuff. So I want to make a detector. We can do that. And so that way we can actually, you know, see more stuff. And the other thing I wanted to bring was, uh, I know there was something else I wanted to bring and I think it was the tent. So yeah, we're going to bring the tent with and that way we can, you know, um, stop and do stuff where we need to. And let's see if we can um, also bring this thing in case we need it. Yep, because that's very light. We can put the, you know what, I think we wanted to, no, we don't want to bring the wood with us. We don't need it. Okay. So yeah, we're just going to we're just going to leave it there. Uh, we have enough oxygen to get around the planet, and I think we have enough food. Let me see if I have... Yeah, see, I have food here. So, yep. So let's... Uh, where's my motorbike? I think I left it parked outside. So let's just go get the motorbike. And I know I just saw a drone around there, but that's fine. So yeah, as you can see here, we now have the... Um, the whatchamacallit? The ring around the thing showing where our other stuff is where the uh where the uh, bonus things are and <laughs> the pois is the word i'm looking for and so yeah we can head off here and i really wish the vertical didn't move so much on this when you when you move up and down hills on this view i really wish the vertical part of the view didn't change so much because it's really annoying and <laughs> It's it's fine if the horizontal turns with you, but when the vertical turns, it's just kind of it's just kind of weird. Okay, so we're going to head I think north until we get close to the uh, thing, and we are going to pick up some more veggies and stuff on the way so that we can make more food. So we do need to keep up our food supplies, and I also should pick up aloe wherever I find it if I can. There's aloe there. Okay, so we've got something else to the north. So we'll see what it is in a second here. But we're going to grab this stuff too. There we go. So with the detector, we should at least be able to get a little bit more, uh, a little bit better uh, exploration going on here. And it just turned to the west. So it's going to be to our northwest then, which means it's going to be right over this mountain, isn't it? <laughs> nice. Okay. So what we're going to do is we will drop off the bike here and we'll just run. We'll run our way up this hill. I thought I saw like a tree up here or something. Is that what I saw? No, I guess not. Okay, so where are we on the map? Let me get moving here a little bit more. We're going to use more oxygen doing this. Yeah, see, I did see a tree up here. <laughs> okay. It's a weird place for that, isn't it? Okay, it's a Prometheum deposit, and actually we could use that. I think we need that. We need Prometheum in order to uh, fuel our multi-tool that we need to build. So we are going to need to get Prometheum, so we might as well just do that now while we're up here. Come on, don't fall. Thank you. There we go. And yeah, as long as we're going this way. So that'll be something we can do with our with our uh, time today, with today's episode. And those are just regular rocks, aren't they? I'm pretty sure I removed all of the all of the uh, resource rocks from here, didn't I? I just want to point at it and see. Rock drill? Yeah, it just shows a regular rock, doesn't it? Yeah, I think so. I've, it's been so long since I've used those, I forget what they even look like. Okay. Because I hate them. <laughs> And let's go like this too, before we get too much closer to this thing. There we go. <clears throat> but yeah, I know that <clears throat> the silicon ones look kind of like this, but they have uh, uh, markings on them. So let's get over here and we'll see if we can get that drone. See if we can get close enough without exposing ourselves. There we go. To direct fire. There we go. All right. Yeah, see, we can get up here and that way. <clears throat> and there are two of them. Okay. But yeah, that way we're not getting we're not getting shot at before we even get a chance to shoot at them. So 
Go like this. There we go. Run, 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 run. Okay. There we go. All right. We have one. Where's the other one? Where's the other one? He's over here. Oh, he's behind the hill then. Okay. That's fine. I thought I heard a second explosion, not just that one's rocket. I thought I heard a se the second one shooting at us, but I guess not. Okay. And we are 100 meters. Okay, cool. So if you recall, the weapons in here do not have a limit on their range so much. Um, I mean, the, the, the pistol does have a la range limit, but long before it actually gets to that point, um, you're basically going to miss all the time just from the bullet going off to the side and everything. And so, yeah, um, it's not so much a... Yeah, see, we're not even hitting him. It's not so much a limit of uh, range where the bullet just disappears, but a limit on uh, <laughs> the bullet spread, on being able to hit something from far enough away. Wow, that was a lot of damage. Come on. I want to take this guy out instead of just trying to drill and then getting shot in the back. There we go. All right. Let's go like this and loot this guy. Come on. Come on! No! I'm not going to be able to reach him. Okay. I do want to get down there and reach that because, yeah, the, we're sparse enough on this planet. Oh, man, I'm going to slide all the way down there, aren't I? No! Careful. <laughs> all right, let's do this. That was interesting. I think I saw the flames coming out of my backpack or something. All right. Now we can go, hopefully we can go get this Prometheum. And we did pick up some aloe, didn't we? So I think we can uh, use that in a second here when we get up to where we're not sliding <laughs> back down the hill. All right, and we are three hours from, from whatchamacallit. You know, the other thing I need is I need an ore scanner, don't I? I'm going to need an ore scanner in order to, to get these probably, possibly, but I'm going to at least dig my way over to here and see if we can find them. See if we can find the Prometheum rocks, because these are the pop rocks on this one. Let me dig a little bit and see if we can find them, because they're usually fairly close on a small deposit, I think. Small deposit, they're fairly close to where the marker is. So let's see if we can get them, maybe. We don't need that much Prometheum rock. We just need a little bit. And I think it's easier getting it here than it would be uh, to get it at the um, on the moon. But the other thing is we can come back when we have a ship. We can come back here and dig it up. Yeah, because I'm not seeing it. I'm not seeing it. Nope. Okay. All right. Well, I guess we will have to uh, we'll have to do something else there. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go up north here. Actually, you know what? What is the range on our detector? The range is one thousand, and I think that's two of these blocks. Let's see. Um, except, yeah. See, that is. If we move that, can we move it to? Uh, 2400 oh yeah yeah okay so that is far more okay so our range is um you see 2000 let's try that so yeah that is uh definitely i think i think each of these is 500 meters so yeah we should be able to find whatever it is we're looking for uh without going all the way up north so we'll just go this way. We'll head west, and I think we're gonna have to. I think we're gonna have to just walk through these mountains because we're not gonna be able to to do anything with the motorbike. We're just gonna fall and go backwards and everything with the motorbike if we try to do that. So we'll run this way and see if we can keep up with the the sun so that we're not uh, doing nighttime all the time. Although we do have the tent, so we don't have to worry about that too much. We're not on a speed run, so we don't have to worry about running up the clock 
Um, although I do need to worry about these things expiring and that's probably something else we should do is we should make these and you know what I should have made vegetable juice out of that shouldn't I okay and we can eat these there we go and take a couple more of these there we go all right so let's head off this way I think we can get some oh there's an iron deposit I think we can get some motorbike in here Go. See if we can. Whoa. <laughs> see if we can get some. Uh, yeah, see, that's what happens when you ride the motorbike down a hill. Let's grab this while we're here. And we're just going to do that because it takes an hour to turn around. Is there more aloe right over here? No. Okay. All right, so yeah, we're going to head west and we're going to see if we can. What is. Oh, that's the iron deposit. Okay. Yeah, we'll see if we can grab, uh, find some more stuff that is, and and grab uh, copper. I think is what we really need in order to be able to continue. Because I think if we make copper, we might even be able to build a uh, small, <clears throat> a small SV in order to just fly it around the planet and find other stuff, or maybe even a hovercraft, and we could take the parts off the hovercraft when we're done in order to uh, build it into a small vessel as long as we get the Promethium, right? But yeah, I think we can make a pretty simplistic uh, small vessel and fly it. So we'll see if we can do that. We'll have to, we'll just have to see how much silicon and everything we get. Because I mean, we are going to have to build the parts for a small vessel anyway, so we can just start building them. And if we run out of materials, then, you know, Ah, come on. Yeah, we gotta watch out for this dude too, because he's gonna charge us. So watch out for that dude. The, uh, whatchamacallit? The woodwalker. <clears throat> there we go, there's another one of these. And he's not after us, right? Okay. Good. Because I don't want to have to fight him right now. I think all you get out of them is seeds. So, and it's not like we need seeds. There's the silicon deposit, okay. And how far have we gone across? Okay, we haven't gone that far across. All right, just checking. <laughs> and I'm sure the detector is binging that thing right there, whatever, dinging that thing. There we go, alien tower. And let's see, where else can we go here? We still have something off to this direction and we don't wanna go around we don't want to go next to that thing, so I think we're going to go around here. I don't want to go right next to the spider over there. I don't want to have to fight wildlife unless it's necessary. I don't want to fight wildlife unless I have to, is what I'm saying. And there must be a deposit there or something. What is? What are all those dudes doing? What are they all doing? What are they all protecting? That there's three of them. Okay, there's three of them and it's a silicon deposit. Alright. So we're gonna go this way. And let's do this. Let's just take care of these guys. Come on. Come on. Keep moving. Do not stop moving. Do not stop moving. <laughs> do not stop moving. Come on. There we go. There's that one. And this guy. There we go. Okay. We got them. And is there any wildlife that's going to go after us? No. Okay. And hopefully they didn't blow up our bike, right? <laughs> I still see it on the map, so I think we're good. All right. Let's reload, too, as long as we're at that. And what do we have? We still have 562. Okay, so we have plenty of of uh, ammo. So the silicon deposits are here and here. Okay. We are going to need to get those, so we might as well do that. I'm hoping that we're not going to have to sneak past that base in order to get to the other silicon deposit. We'll have to find out. There's a dude right there, too. Bad guy. I think we're going to go around 
And there's another one there. Okay, I guess we're just going to have to fight some of these guys. There we go. Take care of that. What did we get out of that? What did we get? Just some alien parts and some meat. We got a power coil. Huh. That had to have been from the... From one of the rocket drones. Come on. Let's go this way. And hopefully we can get this silicon without... Without going running into that dude. Is that aloe right there? It looks like aloe this time. Yep, that actually is aloe. We're going to grab that too in a second. But I want to get this silicon deposit. And there's something south of us too. Okay. Let's see if we can find what's south of us in a minute. First we're going to do this. And try to avoid that dude. The alien dude that's running around. Come on. It's right this way. Are we gonna? The the other question is is how much uh, how much um, <laughs> how much capacity do we have to hold this stuff? There we go. All right. So there's 16. Yeah, we still have room. How much is the silicon? How much does the silicon uh, take up? It takes up seven per. Okay. So we can take what? 300? So that's 40. We can take 40 more. Okay. All right. And which way is south? That way is south. I think we're going to go that way. I think we will leave the other silicon deposit because I'm not sure that we're actually going to need it. So why don't we just jump on the bike here? There we go. And we'll head south and see what we can find here. Whoops. It's a Promethean deposit. Huh. Okay. Let's see if maybe we can uh, get some Promethean out of that one. And there is... Uh, there's three drones protecting it. I think we're going to go this way instead. <laughs> we'll wait until later. We don't need it desperately, so we'll just go back this way. See what we can find as far as exploring here. Do you need to reload this thing? Nope, I don't need to reload it. Okay. Let's go up here. See if we can get past these guys. Come on, keep going. The alien assassin and the spider. Okay, good. Good. We got past those. Nice view up here. See what we can find. So I think we're getting closer to the uh, we're getting closer to the equator. Yeah. Okay. So yeah, we're gonna keep heading uh, west. If we go and yeah, if we go west, we should be able to uh, we should be able to uh, find more stuff. Our detector is gonna be within. Um, our detector is going to be within, you know, detection range of anything from here all the way down, all the way down past the equator. So we should be good as far as that goes. Yeah, it looks like we. it's only going to take us two trips around the uh, planet in order to, um, in order to do everything that we need to do in order to discover everything. So that's good. And it looks like more aloe there. We're going to grab those. As long as we're here. And I probably should check. Yeah, okay, I'm good on oxygen. Yep, I'm fine on oxygen. I could grab some more of this stuff. Okay, so we're going to keep going west. I keep heading north. I keep wanting to go north instead of west. So, yeah, the thing I need to remember uh, uh, to make next time we go home is, and, you know, we have access to our crafting, is I need to make a uh, uh, an ore thingy an ore scanner whatever it's called okay so let's see what we have as far as terrain over this way we do have more mountains we're gonna have to go past all right so we'll see how much of this mountain area we can get through on the bike yeah there we go see if we can, whoa 
Yeah, we just went through the... <laughs> we just went through the, uh... The international dateline, as I like to call it. Alright. Is that a bad guy there, or is that just... No, it's just a shadow. Okay. Alright, we're gonna grab that. Probably shouldn't have stopped it on an uphill, but that's okay. We're gonna grab this, too. There we go. All right, so let's head west and see what we can find. See if we can find anything else. I think we're just going to go. I'm not going to try to stop this time. I think. Maybe. Probably. Something like that. That is a big desert, isn't it? Yep. So we're going to go across the desert. We're going to go south a little bit first, too. And we'll go across this desert and see if we can find anything else. Because I don't even see anything in the, uh, in the detector yet. <laughs> That's... Pretty sparse, isn't it? Maybe we'll find something. Maybe we won't. There's not too many uh, other things left to find. There's two copper deposits and maybe an iron and a promethium. Let's see. Let's see what is there. We found all the iron. There's only two promethium and two copper left to find in the drone base, obviously. And there is the uh, the radiated biome got that. Where are we on the map? Okay, we can still go south a little bit more. Why am I not moving? That was weird. Okay. Still go south a little bit more. What do we have? We're getting close to uh, sundown. So I think what I'm going to do here... Whoa! Oh, those are lizard mules, aren't they? Yeah, those are lizard mules. Okay. They looked like bad guys for a second, but... Yeah, we're going to put down the tent and see if we can sleep. We're going to go west, and then we'll put down the tent and see if we can see if we can sleep. Huh. No, it looks like we've got a little bit ways to go. Is that aloe there? We're going to grab the aloe, too. Okay. But yeah, I do want to put down the tent, and let's see if... Let's see if it'll let us. Yeah, okay. Nope, nope, it won't. It won't let us sleep. All right. So why don't we head south and see what that thing is. I don't know how long we're going to have to wait till sundown. Oh, I guess it's saying 12 hours and 2 minutes to sundown, so it's not going to tell us until we actually pass over to the other side and get however much time to sun up then we'll know it's night. <laughs> That's how you know it's nighttime, right? Okay. Let's see what we can find over here, what this what the marker is gonna be. Please tell me it's gonna be copper. No, it's gonna be that thing right there. It's gonna be that tower. Oh, it's the drone base. Okay. Alright, let's head this way. Head west a little bit more. How far south did we go? A little bit. A little bit more than I wanted to. Okay, so let's go up. We'll just go around these mountains. And we'll see if we can make it daytime as soon as it becomes night. Any day now? <laughs> Any night now? Something like that, right? Can't tell if that's a spider waiting for me. I think it is. Or if that was just deco. And... What do we have now? Yeah, we're way past far enough north. Okay. Let's see if we can get up the hill here. Yep. And we can... Come on. <laughs> A lot more mountains again. Let's jump off and see if we can go do this on foot, because it's just going to be way too much. Way too much on mountain on the bike trying to get through these mountains. Let's grab some more oxygen, too, while we're at it. And we'll see what this next thing is. I mean, there can't be too much more to discover as far as things. So one of these things is going to have to be copper. <laughs> right? Eventually. Uh, come on. You can do it. I, ha I hate that you start sliding down the hill and you have, like, no traction and you can't speed up. And you're just stuck, like, slowly sliding down the hill. We're still at 1359. Is it ever going to let us... 
It looks like we're almost on the Terminator. Come on. 14.02. I mean, the days are 24 hours long, and we are, like, over by the the uh, equator, so it's just kind of weird, huh? Come on. There we go. Okay. There we go. All right. So we made it day. And let's see if we can find this thing. Let's see if it's a thingy. Let's see what we have across here. Okay. So it's just that. I think we can ride the bike across this stuff. So let's do it. Because otherwise it's going to take forever. There it is. Okay, it's a Prometheum deposit. All right, well, you know what? That's going to be it for Episode 3. We are out of time for today. So join me in Episode 4, and we'll continue exploring, see if we can get the rest of the way around this planet. And, uh, yeah, and I think on the outro, I'm just going to... I'm just going to ride here uh, as much as I can. I think we'll go around these mountains. All right, and see if I can uh, yeah, do a little time lapse in here for you. But anyway, that's going to be it for Episode 3. Join me in Episode 4, and we'll see you then. Later.